This is the moment every exploration team dreams of. First up, we have the OG 2528. This is the first sign we had of massive sulfides. So we have a big band of chalcopyrite and then pyrite completely changed this core. You have no idea what was there before. It's absolutely stunning. But this discovery wasn't a matter of luck. Well, it's great. It, honestly, it's what we were hoping for and even better than that. Um, you can't really ask to kick a drill program off better than this. It's the culmination of hard work and dedication over a year-long journey. We're really focusing on this whole idea of transparency and, and being able to see what we're doing on a daily basis. The highs and the lows, because there are both these days and every day in mining. More than just a story about rocks, this was a chance to meet the people driving the discovery. Stefan Sklepowicz, Kirkland Lake Discovery's CEO, bringing in fresh eyes, a wealth of business acumen, and leading the team towards discovery. I know I don't need to know everything, um, but what I do need to do is surround me with people who know more than me, and that's certainly the case with the team that we've assembled. Mike Kilborn, the seasoned geologist with hundreds of thousands of meters of core logged throughout his career. That's the exciting part because I'm the first guy to see the core, you know, a 2.7 billion year old rock for the first time. It's a treasure hunt. You never know what you're gonna get. It's like a box of chocolates. <laughs> and Drake Hyden, the senior geologist who merges modern technology and AI with boots on the ground field work. So getting these into QGIS and seeing exactly what we have for coverage over top of each one of these anomalies, what we have for mapping and then grab samples. And that'll be cool just to, to confirm, right? Because it's kind of hard to look at a map and be like, yeah, I think we got a grab right there. Along the way, the series became a masterclass for any investor wanting to understand the real process of discovery. Okay, we call it diamond drilling or a diamond drill, or we're not drilling for diamonds. This is a drill bit and it has diamonds encrusted into the into the bit. Welcome to my office. Where these are formed is uh, at the bottom of the ocean. And so you have these black smokers coming up. Basically it's heat vents for okay. sulfide and metal rich waters that are really hot circulating through the earth. And then they extrude or get pushed up through this uh, black smoker. With the team in place, the journey began by testing historic targets at Hargreaves. Five holes drilled, uh, 1,187 meters uh, cord. We were excited when we saw the uh, cyanates in the first two holes, 23 and 24. We didn't hit a home run on that, but most of the holes are anomalous. We just might be on the edge of something here. Every meter drilled provided crucial data. That information, combined with a fresh look at the geophysics, pointed the team toward a forgotten corner of the property, Winnie Lake. We sort of broadened our bit of our horizons and looked at the whole hole and found out that these, well, these two intercepts are within a broader intercept of 47.12 meters. Uh, something that anyone would be uh, very excited about. Uh, that's a fabulous hole. And, you know, it is, it is gold and silver rich. Fieldwork quickly confirmed their theory. The mineralization wasn't isolated. It was part of a large, continuous system. 150 meters away from the main Winnie shaft, we found the Mini Winnie. It's the same geological setting, it's the same mineralization, and it opens up the exploration potential for the area massively. Completely untested, if that entire corridor is mineralized, we're off to the races. With the evidence mounting, it was time to drill. The very first hole didn't just confirm the historic results, it expanded them, hitting a wide zone of massive sulfides, with mineralization starting right from surface. With this hole, we've added more results, so we've extended the strike length of it, so that really uh, builds some confidence for uh, the potential for this to have some size. I mean, it doesn't really get much better than this, like you see all the calcopyrite through there, it's beautiful. This isn't just a small discovery. The team has uncovered an intrusion-related system, a geological engine that cooked the surrounding rock, 
and the prospective border of the Pluton is an astounding 17 kilometers long. The previous operators may have missed that contact. They, they, had, they had been drilling entirely to the east of the Winnie shaft. And what we're seeing is that to the west and to the northwest, that's wide open still. So that gives us a lot of opportunity to chase this down in a different way. A year of methodical work has led to this, a discovery with district scale potential, open in every direction. The rocks have revealed their secret. Now, only the assays can tell us just how rich this treasure is. This is the most exciting holes that I've seen come out of the ground. Drake thinks it's the most exciting hole. Mike thinks it's the most exciting hole. I think we're on to something big here, so stay tuned for those assays and come along for the ride.